Hi everybody, my name is Megan Black from Boston Moms and today I'm here with my sons, Benjamin and William, and we're going to show you how to mail a hug. Now that sounds a little bit silly. How could you mail a hug? Well, it can be done and we're gonna show you because we know that everybody right now is missing somebody and what better way to show them that you miss them and you love them than to send them a hug. It's second best to the real thing. So we're gonna show you that today. Um, we have a few things, a few different supplies that you'll need. First and foremost, you need some paper. So we have cardstock here, which is best um, if you're gonna use paint, but any paper, notebook paper, computer paper will do. You need a little bit of string. So we have just present um, ribbon here for, de for wrapping presents, twine, yarn, anything would work. You need either a pencil or a marker or paint, depending on how you want to do your hand prints, which we'll show you in just a minute. Um, you need scissors, tape, and finally, you need an envelope and a stamp if you're going to mail your hug. So first we'll show, um, how, William, you can trace your hand. So we're gonna start by doing our hand prints. William's gonna trace his hand. Yeah, go ahead. He's gonna be very careful. We have a washable marker here. Pencil would also work. Good job, buddy. So we wanna make sure we trace our hands to the best of our ability because it's gonna show the, our loved one who's receiving our hug in the mail how big we really are right now. And maybe maybe it's been a little while since you last saw the person you're gonna mail your hug to and they might be so surprised at how big your hands are getting. Good job. Good job, bud. All right. Yep, good job. So we put our cat back on. Can you show them what it looks like? All right, see, okay, we have a handprint there. Good job, Wills. Um, so now you can go over and you can cut out your handprint, okay? So now um, another way to do this, if you wanna get a little bit messier, is to actually paint your hands and stamp your hands on. This would be a little bit more of an involved project. We do have an example, but we're just gonna show yeah. um, what it would look like, right? Yeah. So Benjamin, what colors do you wanna pretend to paint your hands today? I wanna do blue and purple. Blue and purple, okay. So let's show them what we would do. Can you stand up so I can, so I can show them how to do it? Okay. Let's do blue first. Okay, so we pretend to dip it in. Dip, 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 dip. And then we wipe it on your hands, right? We're gonna get a nice layer of the paint here. And then what do we do? Stamp our hand. Good job, and what do you, can you show them how you put your hand down nice and wide? So you wanna put your hand down nice and wide so that you get all your fingerprints. Good, 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 perfect. And you lift it up, and when you lift it up, it's gonna look something like this. It's pretty neat, right? That's your hand, Ben Ben. Okay, so now we do the other color. You could do both the same color. Can I have your other hand? We'll pretend, pretend to paint it. Yeah. All right, now stamp it. Good job. All right, lift it up. Perfect. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll put this piece of, oh, now, yep, William has cut his hand out, so his handprint is not paint. It's just uh, traced. If you had painted your hands, you know, you'd have a paper that looks something like this. And you're gonna put that off to the side. We use just kids' finger paint. It took us a couple hours to get it completely dry and then we cut them out. Um, so now we're ready to actually measure our hug. What are we gonna to use to measure the length of our hug? The, um, the string. The string, right. And why are we gonna use the string? What, is it, what are we gonna do with because, it? Because we're gonna tape the string onto our hand, onto both of them our paper hands so that somebody can hug it around them like they're actually having something. Yeah, all right, Ben, let's measure your hug, okay? Can you put your hands straight out? Straight out, oh no, your arms straight out, like you're giving a hug, like you're hugging mommy. Good job, all right, and you hold that piece, okay? All right, and William will help me. Thank you, my assistant. Okay, oops, oops. Hold that piece tight, we wanna give a real, real, see how real big your hug is, good, okay. Here we go, we're gonna cut the length of your hug. Okay, now hold that string, because that's your hug. Now let's do Williams. William, can you stand over here? Oh my, I have a big. You do have a big hug. Okay, ready? And that's your hug. Good, okay, hold your hug string. Okay, well, we'll leave that right there. And now we're gonna use the painted hand prints that we've already prepared, and what we'll do is you are gonna, you're gonna tape the string to the back. Wait, William, can you wait one second? Going to tape it to the back of your handprint so the pretty side is going to face out. You're going to tape it to the back of your handprint. So, can you put one piece of tape right there? And then I'll do it to one of my pins. That's a great idea, Ben. Good. Actually, both. Now, you're going to make sure your string goes all the way out. Mine now, my tape. We're going to do yours. Hold on one second. Let's finish Will's. We're actually on the back. You're going to do it on the back so the pretty side faces out, right? Good job, William. Perfect. Okay, hold yeah, on. Yep, we'll do your turn too. 
Wow, okay. Boy, I'm gonna put this right here and we'll show them at the same it. we'll show them at the same time, I'll okay? Lie. Ben, can I get the tape for you? Yeah. Okay, you put it put the tape on. Oh, good job. Good job. All right, now we need to go all the way to the end of your hug. <laughs> you ready? You hold it right there, mommy. I'll get you some tape. Yeah, I'll put it on. Okay. Right here. Good job. Okay, can you hold your hugs? You can. So you hold it like your hands. So when you give a hug, what do you do with your arms? Yeah, good. Ben, can you step over here so we can see you? Oh, not around your neck, around your body. Goose. Oh, it's a big <laughs> hug. That's so nice. So who are we going to send our hugs to? These hugs are for somebody special. Who are they for? Our grandma. They're for our grandma and grandpa, right? We're going to send them a hug because we haven't been able to hug them in a long time. And you know what? I think when they get this in the mail, they're going to be so surprised and so happy. So, so what we'll do in order to mail it is we'll just make sure that the string is nice and straight. Actually, you know what we need to do first? You guys have similar sized hands, so we should really write our name on the back of one of our hands. Okay. So Ben, you're gonna write your name right there. Good job, excellent. So now Grandma and Grandpa will know that these are your hugs, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. And you can have both hands. Okay. Good job. So if you had just traced your hand and cut them out, you'd do the exact same thing. You could color your handprints or use colored paper, but here we have our hugs. And so when grandma and grandpa get these in the mail, they can wrap them around them and they can feel how, what it would feel like to have your hug, right? And we even wrote our name. You did, you wrote your name on the back. That's right, it says Ben. Okay, so now we're gonna put them in an envelope and pop them in the mail. And in just a couple days, grandma and grandpa will have a hug from William yay, and Benjamin. Yay, yay. Yeah. So we hope that all of you will take some time to send somebody that you love a hug. There are lots of ways that we can still connect even though we're socially distant right now. Um, and this is just one of those ways. So hope you enjoy. Thanks.